Hi, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? I just thought I'd chit chat for a little bit. <laughs> I have a couple things I wanted to show you. Um, I've been down for the count for a few days because I had the worst sciatica I've ever had in my life. Um, it's the first time that sciatica went down both legs and it just happened out of the blue. And I, my, from the middle of my butt all the way down to my feet, it was just, oh, it's like somebody hit my funny bone over and over and over again. <laughs> it was insane. Um, I thought there was something wrong. I was freaking out. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. This is sciatica. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, so I'm okay now. Um, my butt still hurts a little bit. Um, and why is it always, it's got to hurt where you sit on the toilet. Like I, just, it's like sitting on the toilet and you're like, ow, 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 ow. It's like, oh man. But, uh, anyways, I'm over and done with that. Uh, so thank goodness. Um, what else? I... I was watching Heather the Crochet Witch. She put out a um, video. Michaels has the facet, loops and threads, facet yarn back. Yay! I am so excited. That is one of my favorite yarns. Um, it's right up there kind of with latte cakes. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I am so happy. And the colors are phenomenal. Uh, I don't know if my Michaels has it yet, but as soon as my Michaels does, I am off to the races and I'm going to go get some and I will show it to you. But pop on over to Heather's channel and take a look because hers does have them and she showed some of them and I'm, there's like 20 colors. I'm just like, oh, I can't choose between any of them. They are all gorgeous. So, <clears throat> speaking of latte cakes, um, apparently there might be some latte cakes, new latte cakes out uh, that are going to be a permanent fixture at Michael's. So, one being the white. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Um, so, yeah. And on an offshoot of the latte cakes, the Colorama Halo, Halo, uh, those are at Joanne's and I have a wonderful yarn bee, Chris. She, uh, went shopping for me and got me a whole bunch of them. They are on the way. I'm hoping to get them soon. I can't wait, but they are the Ogo Colorama Halo and they are comparable to the Latte Cake. They're not exactly the same. I'm sure everybody has seen uh, Crystal from Bag of Days video, uh, but that's okay. I'm totally cool with that. Uh, I just, I can't wait to get my hands on them. <laughs> oh. I got goosebumps just thinking about it. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I have a special place all set up, ready to go. <laughs> so, uh, so as soon as those come, I will show them to you as well. Um, the missing package that I had from Hirschner's, I, it's, there's a big whole story that I don't want to talk about, but I got my package and I do have my um, momente. So now I can get back to finishing my tutorial finally now that summer is coming to a close. <sighs> but that's okay because I what I'm planning on, hopefully if it all works out, is making that tutorial my 12 month collab uh, be, be Hootiful collab that I'm doing with um, Jeanette at Miss Hootie Hootenens Crafts, which will be coming out on the first of the month. 
so that's my plan because it's my it's um september is my month to be bringing out a pattern so oh, no stress no stress none at all <laughs> um i did a boo-boo uh <clears throat> and i'll talk about it on my um movie marquee challenge video but i was so into watching this show that i was crocheting and i finished my project <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah uh so i i'm gonna have to figure out the a four week the fourth week video um i don't know what i'm gonna do for that but <laughs> yeah i've finished the project <laughs> early <clears throat> So, but that's okay because last month I didn't finish. Oh, maybe that's what I'll do as I'll finish. Maybe for the fourth week, I'll finish my um, sweater that I didn't fi finish last month. Maybe I'll try that. <laughs> okay. Um, in other news, as you all know, we, George and I have been doing the carnivore way of eating. Um, he's doing great on it. <clears throat> I was wavering a little bit. And I, a couple days ago, I told George, I am so sick of eating this way because there's just not enough variety and I'm just getting bored with food. Um, I don't want eggs anymore. I don't want cheese anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and so <clears throat> I, uh, I was talking about going keto and I was, didn't know what to do. I was like, oh, but this is working. It's working. I'm losing weight. My A1C is down. Oh, what am I going to do? I handed it up, right? No sooner did I say it the next day, yesterday, uh, I watched a video talking about exactly what I'm going through. That came up on my feed and it's called, it's the carnivore wall. You hit that wall and that's exactly it. You are just not interested in food. Um, you're totally bored with food. You start thinking about, oh, maybe I could just snack on that. Or maybe I can, you know, change it, uh, change up my diet. Or like you start thinking crazy thoughts, right? And I was like, oh, so this is a thing. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, so I guess I've hit this wall. What am I going to do about it? It said you can do one of two things. You can either fast for 24 to 48 hours and then your body will kick back in and say oh I want meat again or uh, you can um, push through and just go no nope, I'm gonna keep going so I thought okay I'm gonna try and fast for 24 hours maybe 48 if I can handle it handed that up and boom in my my new in my YouTube feed I got another video from um, a car carnivore doctor I think it is and she had some recipes that just blew my mind uh, like egg quiche like I I'm I I'm not one of these types of cooks who can get really fancy with their food. I'm plain Jane, uh, but with spices. Um, but I'm not overly creative that way. I don't like cooking, so, you know. Uh, so she, came, she had some recipes for like a quiche. And I thought, why didn't I think of quiche? So, so there's, there's carnivore quiche. And then they have, she had another, um, another one where it's almost like a shepherd's pie, but kind of not. 
you know, without the potatoes, it's with egg instead. So it's basically like ground beef, like any kind of meat you want with a, basically a quiche on top. I'm like, huh, okay. <laughs> like, why didn't I think of that? And then I started thinking about butter and how I can whip up butter, like make it all whipped and, and nice and add cinnamon to it and maybe some clove and I can put that in my morning coffee. Uh, I know butter in your coffee sounds gross, but until you try it, <laughs> don't knock it because I was the same way. I was like, Ugh, really? And I tried it and now I can't stop having it in my coffee because it's just so good. Um, and then I thought about doing whipped butter with uh, garlic and onion, like an uh, onion powder. Hello, put that on my steak. So that's what I'm going to start doing to push through this wall. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited about food again. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> here I go. <laughs> I have lost some more weight. I am down to 190 pounds. Yay! Uh, I'm almost down to in the eight, 180s. I'm so excited. Uh, I just ordered on Amazon. I just ordered a new scale. I haven't done my measurements yet, but I can totally feel like I'm, I'm losing some in my waist again, but I got a new scale that measures your BMI, your water retention. It does like 12 different things. Uh, and it's, it's, um, hooked up to the a phone, an app on your phone. And like six people can use the same app and the same scale. So George can have his and I can have mine and it, it's going to be easier to keep track of. So I'm excited about that. That should be coming today. I'm like, yay. So yeah, uh, my egg steamer came totally disappointed. It the way it looked in the picture, it looked like it was a big steamer. It wasn't. It's a little thing like this. And it doesn't have an off switch. Uh, like it's got an on off switch, but it doesn't turn off on its own. So you have to put a timer on. And yeah, that's not what I wanted at all. And they, I sent them a message and said, this is not exactly what you guys had said it was so can I have my money back please they sent me a message back saying we can we'll give you 20 percent back I'm like oh hell no uh-uh this is not av not what it was advertised and I want my money back I want I paid fifty dollars for this damn thing and it's like this little plastic no give me my money so they finally sent me a message back saying, we're going to give you a full refund. Because I told them I'm complaining to, uh, to Amazon. And I did. I complained to Amazon and I gave them a little black mark. So uh, I never, no, don't usually do that. But this really ticked me off. So <laughs> a lot of things kind of ticked me off lately. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so they, they're giving me a full refund. So that's okay. Um, what else? Uh, so since I finished my movie marquee, I'm kind of going, okay, what do I do now? So I thought I haven't done a um, campfire cardigan in a while. So I started, I, <clears throat> I was like, Ooh, I just got a whole bunch of new yarn. So Sandy Duda, my friend, my sister, she sent me, <clears throat> excuse me, this Yarn V Nature's Nook. And this has flax in it. I think that was it. Flax. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Try putting my glasses on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 54% acrylic, 28% Lysol, 
and 18% flax. This yarn is really soft. I love it, but I'm going to tell you this. Um, she sent, I think she sent me some other yarn that had uh, hemp in it and I loved that yarn, but every once in a while you'd get, it would run through your fingers and you'd go, ow, like, what was that? And there was a little stick in it. <laughs> it was like a um, little piece of hemp husk or something. This does the same thing. Not as bad, but uh, you can definitely feel every once in a while that you get a flask husk or something um, in here. And if, if it gets too bad, then I just pull it out. But, it, you know, I'm kind of going, oh, how's that going to feel on the skin? Um, I'm wondering after I wash it if it's going to make a difference. But the yarn is nice. It's really squishy, soft, and nice. <clears throat> but like I said, every once in a while, like right here, I just felt one. It's like you can feel just this little... You can tell there's something in, in there, right there, right there. Um, oh, that one's in there. Good. <laughs> but <clears throat> so, okay, here's my question. Why do they put something in there that is going to poke you? Like branch type stuff or seed husk, or shell, or whatever the hell it is. Why do they do that? Why do they put that in yarn? Like, I, are they really bored with the yarn they're making, and they just go, oh, here, let's throw this in there. Nobody will notice, huh? Yeah, right. Um, <clears throat> so I, I'm going to keep going with this and see what happens. But I, I was kind of surprised. <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, it's not it's not so terrible that I'm not going to use it because I've got a lot of it and I love it. But j just be forewarned when you if you do buy this that every once in a while you will f you will feel the flask, flask, Fla <laughs> flax. <laughs> uh, so yeah, <clears throat> but it's different. But it's definitely soft. I'm I'm really liking it. Uh, I was going to bring something else up. I was thinking about... Mm, it's whoop, gone. I can't remember now. Okay, moving on then. I have been doing some more jewelry. And... I'm starting to get into this chain mail thing. Like not the heavy duty, like small chain mail stuff. I know I can't do that, but I am um, kind of using what I've got and trying to, you know, figure out some stuff. So I wanted to show you some of the jewelry that I've been making. Um, <clears throat> the chain mail, is kind of a cool concept. So I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this because my camera, my phone camera is just crap and it won't focus properly. So, <clears throat> okay. So there is one pair. Okay, it's not bad. It's showing up okay. So that's one pair. And here's another pair. But um the it cages the uh the stone 
And I thought that was a really cool idea. I've done smaller ones. <clears throat> Oh, there's something like that. But I just thought the concept was really cool. I've done those in a few colors. Oops. Um, I did some... Oh, dropped it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hang on. Ah. <sighs> Um, don't you notice now, like when you get older, the floor seems to be farther away. <laughs> <clears throat> I did some with a dangle. I'm trying to get you to see the cage part. So gosh, we're already at 21 minutes. And I talk a lot. <clears throat> okay, so I've got something like that. And then I was making... I don't know. If, yeah, I think I showed those to you already. Those ones. <clears throat> then I started making something that I thought was really cool. I used to make these years ago. And... and people might think, oh my God, those are going to fall off, but they don't. And not unless you snag them, but they're memory wire necklaces and you just put them on like that and they don't come off. Right. Like unless you actually snag it on something and that's a good thing because then it's not going to choke you if it comes off. Okay. <clears throat> but, uh, like I said, I used to make these um, years ago, and it's a Jeruzy crystal. So, I made that one. Oop. I made this one. And again. It just sits on like that and it's very light right they're not heavy at all um they're just really light and and you barely can feel them on so i made that one and this one i kind of i was thinking about heather the crochet witch when i made this one Gothic key. So I thought that was really, really cute. I really like that with the moon. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. So I made that one. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to be making more of those. Whoops. And then this one I made as a set. So this is an amethyst crystal. And these are all amethyst. I would put it on but <laughs> and then I made a pair of earrings to go with that so yeah <clears throat> um, then I made a bunch of bracelets these are memory wire bracelets um, I just love these things. 
absolutely love them. You just put them on and away you go. <clears throat> so that one, this one is wood. It has dangles on it. And I made this one. It's pretty blue. And that's all you do. You just put it on. Just wrap it. Oops. Wrap it around. And that's it. <clears throat> I made oops. Red one with a tree. And a green one. I was thinking about Lynette from Charm Grammy when I made this. It's got oops. Elephant right there. And Madonna, because Madonna Ballard, she loves green, so. <laughs> Oops. And then I made this one. make quite a few. <laughs> and this one. I just love wearing these though. Because they're just so um so pretty and they are so comfortable. It's another wood one. And there's a black one. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, oops. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about these. And if you guys are interested in them, let me know. Uh, I'm probably not putting these ones up on my Etsy page because um, I'm going to be sending them down to the States. But if you are interested in any of them, let me know right away. I'm selling the bracelets for $25. Um, <clears throat> oops. The necklaces are... 30 um oops sorry I'm trying to get this like this big necklace with the amethyst crystal and the earrings that yeah they're a little more pricey um the earrings are 20 uh, <clears throat> so yeah so just let me know because uh, I, I don't want to send them down to the States and then have somebody say, oh, I wanted that one. You know, so I would rather, I'm not going to be sending these out to the States quite yet. So I need to know right away if you guys are interested. <clears throat> just email me at crochetacanada at gmail.com and, uh, and I will set you up. Okay, um, I think that's all. Oh, I was going to tell you, you remember that was um, when I was saying on my one video that that ball of yarn that um, Angela from My Precious Yarnery sent me, this one, and I, I was like, oh, right, that's for the shirt that I couldn't finish. This is the 
This is the shirt. I found it. So I was like, I had that much, <laughs> that much on the back part to do or, or that I had done and then I ran out. So I'm going to finish this up too. So yay, I'm excited about that. And I think that's everything, you guys. It's been a half an hour, so yeah, stop talking, Sandy. It's funny, when I get on here, it's like all of a sudden I got a whole bunch of things to tell you guys. It tells me that I'm not on long. I'm, I haven't been on for a while. So anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. And uh, I guess I will talk to you in my next video. <laughs> okay, I love you all. Bye.